Welcome to the Jazz Investigation Series, where every Wednesday, I walk you through the jazz standards you need to know. And if you're just learning how to play jazz, this is going to be vital information. Of course, if you're an experienced player, this is a way to take your playing to the next level. Now, if you dig the series, throw it a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification because that's going to let you know every time I upload a new video. So let's get swinging with this week's pick. Of course, this wouldn't be a series up on my list if I didn't have Stella by Starlight. Man, what a killer, killer tune. Why did I pick this tune? Well, of course, it's the melody. It's a haunting melody and one that's really reminiscent of an old time, but also has a modern feel in a lot of ways. And of course, this tune originally was a ballad, but today we played this in an up-tempo fashion that really creates a lot of interesting lines for us to improvise. Number two, it's the unique harmony. Now, mostly this tune lies in the key of B flat, but it's got some twists, and that really makes it interesting for us to play over because it's the first time we're getting a look at some non standard ways of really approaching tunes. And of course, that leads me to reason three. Those variations are really important because as we get deeper into the book of jazz, what we're going to notice is tunes aren't following a standard pattern. And this is a way that we could expand our ears, but also get deeper into different improvisational techniques and styles. And that might help us focus on the kind of playing and the kind of player we want to be. Of course, I can't go without saying it's got a non-resolving dominant and it's one that's unique but also one we haven't seen so much yet which is a flat 7-7. Seven, seven. And again, it's not any different than a dominant 4 or a dominant 2 or even a dominant 3 but it means that we're getting some different ways to play a melodic minor and getting deep into using that scale in our playing. And of course, the popularity. I cannot tell you how many gigs I go to where Stella by Starlight is called. It's just one of those tunes that players really dig. They love it, and so we have to know how to play on it. And again, it's not all that scary. It's a wonderful tune to play on. Now, if you dig this video, make sure to check out the master video on the site where I go over this tune in greater detail. And if you dig the series, throw it a like, Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to tune in next episode where I go over the jazz standards you need to know. I will see you again. Peace.